is factoring a quadratic in two variables with a leading coefficient greater than 1. So that just means I've got both x's and y's. I'm going to have x's and y's on both of my terms. My factoring process, the same thing I've been doing. So here I have a 4x squared. i got to keep in mind that 4x squared could be x times 4x. It might also be 2x times 2x. Don't know which one it is, I just keep going. My signs, my end is negative. If my end is negative, I have 1 plus and 1 minus. Factors of 15y squared. So 15 could be 1 times 15, but probably is the 3 times the 5. But now we've got the y squared, so we've got to put the y's in with our answer. 3y times 5y would give me 15y squared. If I check that one out, I'm going to get negative 5xy, and I'm going to get a positive 12 xy, which would give me positive 7 xy. Well, I wanted to get a negative 7 instead of a positive 7, so this tells me that's the right pair. I just need to fix my signs. So we're going to make this one the negative, this one the positive, and so I would get positive 5xy minus 12xy, which then is my negative 7xy. And so x minus 3y times 4x plus 5y would be my answer. Number 11, again we're factoring, this time we have variables on both of our numbers, so factoring 2x squared, 2x times x is 2x squared. The end sign again is negative, so we're going to have one positive and one negative, and then I've got to do my factors for 20. 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. I'm going to start with the 4 and the 5 i got to keep in mind that i got to put the y's on with my values, so 4y and 5y. And if I check that, my outside product is negative 10xy, my inside product pro positive 4xy. Negative 10 plus 4, not 3. So I switch them around. I'm going to put my 5y first and then my 4y. 5y and 4y. So my outside product is negative 8xy, my inside product is positive 5xy, negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3xy. Sure enough, negative 3xy is what we want. So 2x plus 5y times x minus 4y is going to end up being your answer. Number 12, still factoring. Going to put my two sets of parentheses, factors of 3x squared. 3x times x, or x times 3x, whichever order you prefer. My end is negative. If my end is negative, I know I have 1 plus and 1 minus. Factors of 15y squared. Well, 15 is 1 times 15, or 3 times 5. Trying the 3 times 5 first, I'm going to put 3y and 5y, and then I'm going to check. 3x times negative 5y would be negative 15xy. 3y times x is a positive 3xy, and a negative 15 plus 3 is not 4. And so i got to switch them around. So I'm going to put my 5 first and then my 3. So 5y and 3y. 3x times negative 3y is negative 9xy. 5y times x is a positive 5xy. If I add those, I get negative 4xy. Tells me my values are in the right order. I just need to fix my signs. So I'm going to make the first one negative and the second one positive. Now I'm going to get a positive 9xy and a negative 5xy, which gives me the positive 4xy in the middle. So 3x minus 5y and x plus 3y. The last five on here.